Welcome to the latest edition of the Real Life Reviews vlog. And this week, Kona's happened. We've also got Park Run, The Whole Hog, and an extension update. So let's get started with Kona. The World Championships in the Big Island started on Thursday with the women's race. My one to watch, Lucy Charles Barkley, led out from the swim and maintained an extremely good pace on the bike. However, it was Chelsea Sodaro, young mother and Kona novice, who stormed through to be the first American to take the title since 1996. Lucy Charles Barkley held on to second with Anna Haug uh, finishing in third. Saturday saw the men's race, and this was probably one of the most open races of all time, with a host of athletes who could have come through on the day. Sam Laidlow set down the first marker with his swim, and he held this pretty lonely position uh, until well after the energy lab on the run, over two thirds into the marathon. Gustav Eden and Christian Blumenfeld had been chasing him and they were running together uh, on, the, on the marathon and then Eden pushed on, dropping Blumenfeld and he eventually managed to run down Sam Laidlow. The final positions saw Gustav Eden uh, take the title, Sam Laidlow coming in in second and Christian Blumenfeld in third. This meant that despite the perceived wisdom being that experience is key at Kona, both titles were taken by Kona novices. Indeed, I think the entire men's podium was made up of Kona novices. The men's race was also one of records. Sam Laidlow biked a 4.04.36 to smash the bike course record by four and a half minutes. Gustav Eden ran a 2.36.15 to break the run course record and of course finished in 7.40.24 to break the Kona course record. Another uh, possible record is Sam Laidlow's drinking. He managed to down the beers of everyone on the podium. What I'm not sure though, is whether these were alcohol-free drinks. As we know, uh, often at these events, uh, companies like Erdinger sponsor them and alcohol-free beer is, is one of the, the nice freebies you get at the end. And they're very refreshing, cold, um, nice carbohydrate, very good. Was Sam Laidlow drinking alcohol free or not? If you know, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm also pretty impressed when I look at the results of the men's Kona and see that all the top 10 ran sub eight hours. That's pretty good. I can remember when anyone running sub eight was a bit of a feat. Top 10, all sub eight. Yeah, like that, very good. Um, I hear you asking, where was your man Joe? I said last week, who was I going to watch and follow? I wasn't really saying that Joe would win, but I was following Lucy Charles Barkley and Joe Skipper. Well, he's not a strong swimmer, and he came out of the water in 39th out of the men's pros with a 52-55 swim. It actually put him overall 55th with the males. There were some very good amateurs uh, there as well, obviously. But he did ride a strong bike for 11.11 and then put in a 2.45.26 run to end up in fifth place. So I think that's pretty damn good. And I think Joe's pretty happy with that. So my two, a second and a fifth. Well played the GBs. I'm sorry I'm a bit biased there. I'm going to be more biased in a moment when I talk about WTCS uh, briefly. Uh, but well played you two. Um, just to highlight a few things. The difference between venues, St. George and Kona. Lionel Sanders, who I don't, don't think had a major mechanical or something serious to go wrong. And I'm a massive fan of Lionel. I love his training regime. But he came second in St. George and 34th in Kona. So courses, but the temperature, the heat and the humidity. Um, I do, though, really want to raise and, and give a massive shout out to um, the American Tim O'Donnell. Uh, I don't know if you know or not, but Tim had a heart attack 19 months ago and he's come through all the challenges of that as well as the Kona course 
And he came in in 13th at the age of 42. Huge thumbs up, Tim. Uh, massive respect to you. What a great, great performance. Well done. Um, right, let's cut Kona now. I mentioned uh, WTCS, so final bit of try and use. The weekend saw the latest WTCS in Cagliari in Italy. And Britain's Georgia Taylor-Brown won the women's. And Alex Yee, also Great Britain, won the men's. Really good to see coming in second, Johnny Brownlee, who's had a pretty difficult and turbulent year. So, again, well played the Brits. Excellent. So, what's been going on with me? Well, outside of, outside of my normal training, I mentioned at the beginning, uh, I hit park run on Saturday, and I followed that up with an extremely muddy uh, whole hog obstacle race on Sunday. Uh, with my partner, Teresa, or T for short, um, so let's start with a bit of video on the park run. Saturday morning, making way up to park run. You've probably got a bit of sun in your eyes. Let me just spin this round because I've got a glorious location for park run. This is that reservoir I've mentioned before. It's been a backdrop to some gear reviews. Uh, I've only done three park runs here. Park run Saturday morning. I'm usually working Saturdays. And in fact, I'm going to be working this Saturday in about an hour and a half's time. So quick shower, change, get the shirt and tie on. Um, but it's a great, great location. And again, if I spin round, you might just see in the distance people starting to turn up uh, ready for the venue. So my Garmin says or suggests that I do a base run this morning. I'm not going to be doing that. I just don't have time to go for a longish zone two, zone three run. So park run it is, this will predominantly be zone four, but I suspect I'll end up in zone five uh, for some of it, because that's just the competitive nature of getting out there and being a bit time crunched. So uh, I'll catch you later. Here we go. Right. Okay, this is my mate Lee. Just found him on the park run. How'd it go, Lee? I enjoyed it. Fantastic morning. I've yet to see, but I think I may have got a PB. Fantastic, brilliant mate. I'll let you get on to work. Yeah. yeah. You're Cheers. on your bike, so as they say, on your bike, buddy. <laughs> See Thanks ya. Andy. Take care. Oh, well, you know, hopefully you can tell by the sweat on my face. I worked quite hard on that one. Um, got a funny feeling, although it's winter and slippy and a bit muddy in places. For that course, it might have been a PB. I uh, have to wait till I check out the data, the times, and look at the uh, look at the website. Although, as I say, I think that's the fourth time I've done it. But uh, that was a good workout. I'll let you know about the heart rate zones shortly. Okay, just uploaded using my phone. So if I come round to good old Strava, I don't know if you can see that. Zone 4, 79.9%. And if I click up to uh, zone 5, 14.1%. So a bit of a nightmare. Do the maths, 94% zone 4, zone 5. So, so much for a gentle run. Knew it wasn't going to be. So clearly, I didn't take that one particularly lightly. And the following day, I had that whole hog obstacle race. So let's just see how that went. Sunday morning and we're in the car off to um, have what purportedly is probably the dirtiest fun you can keeping your clothes on. Uh, my partner and I, T, and she's feeling very camera shy at the moment, are heading towards Rendlesham in East Suffolk for a, uh, well, I was gonna say muddy obstacle course. It's actually called whole hog. Uh, but it is, it's a muddy obstacle course. It's a beautiful morning. However, the temperature is four degrees. So the water is going to be pretty chilly to say the least. Uh, oh, camera's just going towards four and a half degrees. It's saying now, pure summer, temperature's gone up. So we'll touch base when we get there. We'll concentrate on our driving, but T's on the camera today, uh, on the back side of the camera, not the front. Catch you later. Well, here we are, Rendlesham Forest, and the sun's still shining. It was a beautiful morning, and the really important things are here. Uh, toilets, cool. Do you mind just food, um, <laughs> and marshals, which is what we need. Good stuff. So, here we are. We're team muck off today. I've got my muck off t shirt on, and T's got her muck off t shirt on, but she's still being mega, mega camera shy. So, uh, let's go and register, and probably next time I see you, I'll be covered in mud. I'm so excited for this, I'm loving it. Event t-shirt, 
Okay. Almost a freebie. Obviously, we paid quite a bit to get into this, but 2022. However, we deferred from 2021, and they made the T-shirts for 2021. So we've also picked up superb colour 2021 T-shirt. So, uh, yep, more T-shirts for the draw. Great fun, absolutely brilliant fun. People everywhere. Lots of uh, the blue shirts of this year's shirt. Uh, I'm still in my mucky stuff. Uh, quite ironic, wearing muck off kit. Uh, and muddiest I've been for a long time. Tees at the van, getting a bacon and egg roll. Uh, just a little spin down. Muddy legs. Um, yeah, fantastic fun. Hope to get a bite to eat in a second. Cold drink and get cleaned up and washed up. But uh, great day, great day out. And finally, whilst I'm on my travels, a little extension update. Quick update on the extension. Getting closer and closer to that magic point where we can start putting the kitchen in. So electrics are basically done. And the flues, the exit flues for the boiler and the um, extractor, extractor over the cooker. Uh, we've got the ceiling is now all insulated and boarded. Windows are in, glass and everything. Um, got boarding on that wall now, quite a lot of it. Soon be ready to plaster. Big, big thing, the floor is in. Don't know what you saw last time, but that's probably eight inches up. And that's the proper flooring with the underfloor heating that's gone in. So yeah, getting there, moving on. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of the vlog. Please do like and share, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please click on the little round picture down there. Up there, we have the review of the Hoka Aura Recovery Shoe 2 that was released on Saturday. And up there, our review of the Glorify Unbreakable Sunglasses. Thanks for watching.